One of the biggest paradigm shifts that has happened to me since eating plants has been looking at meals that are being considered appetizers or sides and asking myself, why can't this be a full meal? As a hack, I look at sides on the internet or even at restaurants looking at their appetizer menu and try recreating them at home. It can't be just me, but at restaurants, I kind of feel like sometimes they're the best part of the menu. Another upside, because they're starters, they not only need to be easy, but they also have to be quick to the table. And if you pause here and take a moment to think about what can be done to this appetizer to make it into a full meal, it really only comes down to a few things. Maybe additional vegetables or more sustainable protein, or it's perfect as it is and simply just needs an increase in volume. This roasted cauliflower with lemon tahini hummus and the herbiest of chili oils is a delight that comes together in about 20 to 25 minutes. If you're not a fan of cauliflower, broccoli is a great sub for this dish as it's grassy, earthy, mildly bitter flavor ties in well as an undertone. By the way, don't use those adjectives to describe broccoli to nobody. We're going for sort of a smoky all-purpose seasoning for the cauliflower. Since we're layering flavors, we want this to be good, but not too dominant, taking away from all the other goodness in the dish. I say that because if you wanna season that differently, you can. You just wanna make sure your flavors are mild, this way you can consider the other flavors within the palate. There's been this chili oil craze for quite some time, but we're hacking it in this recipe to create something just as good. If you're unfamiliar, chili oil has many variations and it can take about 20 minutes, even up to an hour or so to make. We're making this one in five minutes. Some considerations when making this is you probably wanna use an oil with a high smoke point as you don't wanna startle yourself when bringing the oil up to heat. I used olive oil, which doesn't have a high smoke point at all, but it has a flavor on its own that I like and I also like that it's an anti-inflammatory oil. So if you have some experience in the kitchen, try it out. On the other hand, if you have little experience in the kitchen, but can find the joy and humility in failing, I would say try it out. When adding the oil into the spices, be really careful as there's gonna be a vigorous bubbling that happens. After that, the oil should turn this beautiful amber and scarlet rose kind of blend. Make sure you venture out and use different spices. Thyme, uh, oregano, cilantro are a couple of my favorites in this dish. The chili oil is pretty spicy, but if you've ever wanted the experience of eating something really spicy and then immediately being able to cool your tongue, this recipe is perfect because of the hummus. You saw it, but within the hummus is just pure deliciousness, not only to beef up the taste and the texture, but also the amount of protein and its ability to combat spicy food. If you're allergic to sesame, the tahini can be swapped. I'm thinking cashew butter or pine nuts, you know, something with a mild flavor. You could also get a smoother hummus if you're into removing the outer shell of the chickpeas prior to bringing the ingredients together. I never do that, but typically would use my blender to get that really silky texture I'm looking for. The blender's like also way easier to clean. Don't forget to pair the bread with something like a crusty bread or even something softer like a pita or naan. Check out the description for a link to this recipe or head over to makeitdairyfree.com. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.